Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the App Podcast. Today we're going to take a look at Milebug. Milebug is a trip log for your iPhone and your iPod Touch that is very useful. It goes far beyond most of the other logs out there in its functionality. Uh, basically, the most useful function here is the ability to set these presets so that you can make logs quickly and effortlessly. So you set up your presets in your types and rates here. Uh, say you get reimbursed for your mileage based on different activities. So you can set that stuff up here, uh, whether it's a business, charity, medical. We can reorder these. We can delete them. We can add new ones just simply by clicking here, choosing a different business type, which is another thing that we would set up um, under our presets under businesses here. So we've got some different businesses uh, which could be organizations or anything. Um, we have those set up. Uh, we have a couple of different business locations already in there and different purposes. So uh, it keeps it really detailed. And then if you have multiple vehicles you can go ahead and put those in here also so you can keep track of the mileage that you're putting on uh, specific vehicles. So um, I'm just gonna go with what's there. Let's cancel that out and go into trips. So I've emptied out my trip log. You can do that by clicking the trash can and deleting all trips, or you can go into a trip that you've created and at the very bottom there will be a, uh, an, a delete button where you can delete items one at a time. So adding a trip is really simple. We can just set the date here. We can choose our business, whether it was uh, charity, medical, personal. Let's choose personal in this instance. Um, and let's choose an origin. So let's say I'm leaving from home we're gonna go ahead and set this up as a new origin I'm actually at home and I want my destination is going to be Costco because I need to go shopping for groceries so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that as a destination and then for my purpose I could add that in as a preset as well and choose uh, I don't know I'm just being funny here I'm uh, I'm hungry so that's why I'm going to Costco right so now I have all of that, those details entered in, so I don't know who's gonna reimburse me for my mileage for going to Costco, but you get the idea. So I can choose from my vehicles here, which I only have one, uh, and then I, I enter my odometer readings, start and finish. So let's say my odometer was at uh, 2430 miles uh, from the get-go there, and my end odometer reading was like 10 miles later. So um, because of the way I have it set up, I don't get reimbursed obviously for my, my personal travel, so I don't have any, um, any dollars there. But if you have a company car, for example, they want you to log everything and keep track of everything, they may not be reimbursing you for your personal mileage, but they let you drive the car for your personal uh, details that you have to take care of. So it's good to keep track of all that stuff. So let's go and add, let's hit done, let's go and add one more, let's add a, uh, a business item. So let's choose business, let's say I'm leaving from, um, from home, so let's, let's type in home, because now we're under the business preset, so we have to set up details based on that specific preset. And then our destination, uh, let's say we're going to Costco for, um, uh, for business, because of whatever many purposes it looks like it it decided that uh, beer run was the the preset purpose that it was going to choose for me uh, and there are multiple preset purposes that you can choose from um, so uh, we've got beer run in there and that's alright let's save that and then we're in the vehicle number one um, the last time our odometer was at 2440. Let's do another 10 miles and put it in there and you can see that it is automatically calculated what should be received for mileage reimbursement. So let's hit done. Now you can see we've got two different items listed in here for today's date. We can go in and do a report uh, and filter that report based on these settings here and then send that report in email. And let me tell you, those emails are really nice looking. I'm going to hit send here and it's going to um, put that in. And you can kind of see the report here. It's a nice graph that it is drafted up. It's hard to see in the little screen here. Um, but as you can see, it gives you all the details. If you had entered notes, it would have those as well. Let's get out of here and go back to Milebug. 
So this is a very intuitive app with a lot that can be done with it. It's not just a simple mileage logger. It gives you the ability to do a lot as far as send those reports, which is great. Uh, I know some companies probably have um, specific forms, maybe even triplicates or something that you have to fill out for this kind of stuff. But if not, then this app is perfect for you because you can go and log all this stuff. Even if you don't use the reports, you can always just log it in your phone. An easy way to do it so that you don't have to haul around some sort of a book with you. When you get back to your office, you can take the details that you've entered in uh, into this app and then export them, uh, you know, however you would want to do that into your logbook or some sort of software that your company uses. So Milebug definitely may not replace what you have to do already, but it's definitely going to make it a lot easier. So this is by far probably one of the premier mileage logs that I've seen so far. Um, so you definitely want to give Milebug a look and see if it can work for you. And that's going to do it for my review and look at Milebug. Take care and we'll see you next time on the App Podcast.